goes to the back. You will just stick those two together. Alright, so we have that prepared. They have to be in line. So mm -hmm. this little hook and this eye, they have to be in line. Mm -hmm. Because you can turn it here. And then what we do, we take some tape and we tape it here. So it doesn't doesn't come off. Okay, we, we can we can this, uh, the jib sail. We will turn so the tip of the sail points towards the stern of the boat. Now the next thing that we will do is to put the jib sheet on this block of the jib sail. The jib sheet is this orange line comes from the cockpit. Now let's take the jib sheet, the orange line here, just fill it down, fill it to the block. There. And it goes back into the cockpit, to this little hole here. Now, next it goes through this block. Yeah. It goes through this um, pad eye. It's just all in line. Just make sure that all the lines that you set up are kind of in a straight line. And in the end it goes to this cleat um, that allows you to fasten it, to bring it up to a point. Now the last thing you do is to tie a stopper knot on this line. And I like to um, tie a figure eight stopper knot. In order okay. to attach the jib strut, mm -hmm. we have to bring up the collar all over the sail. Mm -hmm. Then we will use the end of the strut and put it into a hole on the clue board. And the front side of the strut is attached via this ring. Where this clip or something onto this ring on the front of the metal collar. So you just clip it in. Okay, I think we do. It's just bad, it's not the dead way. So the downhaul, the line clip hook, whatever, onto the front little ring on the metal collar. So everything. The strut, oh, yeah, put it again. the strut, yeah, okay, and the downhaul go into the front. This white line is the downhaul that we've just attached to the metal collar on the jib. When it comes into the cockpit out of this little hole, it is guided through this um, pad eye here and eventually gets cleated in this jam cleat. Now Alex will show you how what the outhaul does. Yeah, in order to to give your jib sheet a flat a very flat curve you pull it down and then you have a very flat curve down here. If in lighter winds you decide to you wanna have oh could you include it Julia? You wanna have a more curved shape, you let it go and your sail is more curved. So flat first. Huh? You want me to show? Yeah. Bow of the boat, the thinner edge towards the stern. The tapered. The tapered edge goes to the back. Like if you have the same weight. Next thing is. Yep. Okay. That's the painter. A uh, painter line. And the painter is securely attached. That's what we the did. Mask. Yeah, we yeah. did. Okay. We tie it to the dock? Yes. yes. Okay. Then you go on top once. 
you go around this part of the cleat. Now in your hand, you twist it forward. So, and then this little loop that you've created, you pull it over the other part of the cleat and then you fasten it. So two lines under one. Break your back. Yeah, wow. that's why we're using a crane Definitely. to do that. So the oh. crane attached to a carabiner and it, with another, with a line and another goes around the spread the load. Spread the load. Okay, white rings, rubber rings around the bar. So they protect. it protects it protects the hull of the boat. Maybe a little bit more. The bow okay. of the boat. And the thinner end. That will go into the um, into the bomb out in here, and let me take the joystick out of the way. Goes in here, all the way. Well, maybe we can have a shot here. Okay. You can see that the pin will a nice spot would be down here. 